for the hobby garage. I know it's been a while and uh, I miss doing this and I hopefully I can get some more videos out for you. But here we have the all new Team Corrali Asuga XLR. At least that's I'm, I'm assuming how they pronounce it. So I just want to do a comparison video next to the Team Corrali Python and the Arma TLR Typhon. So as you can see, this thing is big for an 8th scale, 7th scale, not sure quite what they're calling it, but uh, I just want to go over the specs of the buggies in case you guys were interested. And the first thing we have that's more beefy on this are the axles. So on the Python, we have 4 millimeter axles. On the Asuga and TLR, that has 5 millimeter axles all the way around. Uh, shock shafts, I was expecting this one to be a little bit more beefy, but they went with a three and a half millimeter shock shaft, uh, which is the same on the smaller Python. The Arma Typhon TLR has four millimeter shock shafts all the way around. The wheels on the Asuga, this, this will be the interesting part because obviously these are a weird size sort of proprietary. Uh, the tread feels nice. It's very stiff. Um, it is not vented from the factory, so you're going to want to do that. But these guys come in at 130 millimeters or just about 5 inches in diameter. The stock or the, the wheels that come stock on the Python and the TLR, standard buggy size wheels, uh, 113 millimeters or 4.5 inches approximately. The chassis on all three buggies is 3 millimeters thick. And then as far as size goes, the Python is 11 and 3 quarter inches wide. The Asuga is 13 and a half inches wide. And then the Arma is 11 and a half inches wide. So this is the narrowest of the three. And then the length going from the wing to the front of the bumper. The Python came in at 18 and 3 quarters. The Asuga came in at 22 and a quarter. And the TLR Typhon came in at 19 and a quarter. Yeah, it's it's quite a bit bigger. And we're going to get this on the scale here shortly to get the weights. Uh, this buggy is very light for its size. Um, and another thing, once we get the covers off, you'll be able to see the bracing. So I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up in the video, but the Python, very flexible. The TLR, same thing. You can see very easy to flex the chassis on this, which flex is a good thing, guys, if you're, you're sending it. You want it to have some give, but this guy is, I mean, I really got to, really got to squeeze it. This thing is braced to the moon, so let's get the covers off. All right, so let's just talk about the, the bodies on this real quick. The, the TLR one is super rigid, very thick, very nicely put together. Um, uh, I do like how they put the plastic inserts in just to reinforce it at the whole locations that's a really nice touch but it is super thin guys very very thin body so we'll see how this does i definitely have my concerns in the cold up here drywall mesh in here shoe glue it reinforce it and and hopes to to make this thing last sticker placement i mean this is getting kind of nitpicky but the sticker placement was quite poor but other than that it looks fantastic um but we'll see how that does this guy's interesting how you have to feed it through the front shock tower. Uh, it's kind of ugly off the off the buggy, but on it looks good. Uh, it does feel a little bit thicker than the Asuga. I'm not sure why they went, went with such a thin body, but I like how they vented it from the factory. This isn't anything I did, so uh, I only have one run on this and no crashes, so we'll see how the durability is. So you can see all the bracing that they did, those center chassis braces are super beefy very very thick and then aluminum braces going from the center uh, center diff to the front uh, and rear chassis braces they did put the larger battery tray in this from the chronos and punisher uh, which i like you can adjust the size i did run into an issue with the python not being able to take my z6000 lipos it's just too big Fits inside the TLR, no problem. Keep calling it TLR. Arma. Arma slash TLR. Guys, look at the A-arms on this. It's nice and beefy. You know, it reminds me of, like, the V5 A-arms off the Armas. They're just super, super stout. Um, it's got this removable 
piece here. I mean, it, it just looks like an air diffuser. I'm not sure exactly what those are for. Also super beefy. You know, the shocks, they are proprietary to this vehicle. They're about 10 millimeters longer than either of these buggies. Um, so, and as you can see, you can get this as a roller ready to run. I opted for the roller and I haven't decided what I'm going to put in this yet for electronics, but I do like that if you choose to go with Hobby Wing, that they have a switch mount for it. Or if you go with, with their, their electronics, which I'm assuming this is just a rebranded Hobby Wing, you know, that's the, the switch for that. So the color difference in the diffs all the way around, um, I guess that's more of like a spring steel. So they upgraded all the diffs, same as they use in their XRT, whereas the stock Python just has uh, hardened steel. So the center drive line in this, uh, it is five millimeter. You can see they step it down right here. And then um, this is also five millimeter. And then on the Python, it's four millimeter. On the bottom of the, the Python, it does not come with any chassis protection on this guy beautiful chassis i like how they you know do the little red inserts just kind of dress it up a little bit but we got nice skid plates both front and rear and that incorporates into the bumper and then the arma does not have anything from the factory either but let's get the scale out i have some electronics i'm just going to place in this but this thing is is light for its size i was a little concerned originally that you know, being a little bit larger, it's going to be heavier, more stress on the motor and ESC, but I think this is going to come in at the heaviest. So let's get the scale set up. All right, we got the scale set up. We got it zeroed out with our stand. We'll start out with the Python. Let's see what we got here. So fully ready to run, less the battery, your seven pounds, four ounces. We'll get the Asuga up here next. I did place in some electronics so we can get a more accurate weight. Nine pounds, seven ounces. So it is a little heavier than I expected. It, it feels very light for its size, but it's not bad. This one feels the heaviest, but well, there you go. There you have it. So that lands dead smack in the center. So the Python's the lightest. Makes sense. When we look at the specs, it has uh, the smallest parts in it and then uh, then the Typhon comes in second and the Asuga is the heaviest. Uh, I guess one thing I didn't mention earlier was the shock towers. So looking at this guys the all the shock towers front and rear are five millimeter both on the Asuga and on the Typhon and then the Python uses a five millimeter rear and a, a four millimeter front. So uh, this is supposed to share a lot of parts across the platform. The only things I can definitely say that are proprietary on this are going to be the uh, suspension uh, shocks and the uh, A-arms and stuff like that. Um, I can't confirm from everything else. I mean, the, the braces definitely look like their own thing too, but it looks like the motor mount's the same. The diffs are supposed to be the same front and rear for the, uh, to the Kronos. Uh, this is definitely battery tray out of the Kronos. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get this going. Uh, hopefully we'll have some decent weather here. It's been quite cold. I'll get this out for you guys. We'll do a speed run and uh, just see how it does. So I appreciate you tuning in. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. There'll be more content coming out. I got the Ram up and running and uh, just waiting for some good weather, guys. So thank you again, and we'll catch you in the next one.